my, hello, I was just rocking out to this song, and I wish you guys could hear it too, but, uh, it's copyrighted, I, I don't know what you can do about that on YouTube, um, it's just terrible that you can't use copyrighted music on YouTube, so, um, I'm actually going to show you the YouTube Audio Library for free music to use in your YouTube videos. To get to the YouTube Audio Library, you just need to be signed in and go to Creator Studio. So I clicked on the icon here in the right corner and click Creator Studio. Now all you have to do is go to the Create button here and click on it. And this is where the audio library is available. There's all kinds of different songs for you to choose from, from different genres, different moods, and uh, different instruments, uh, depending on what you're looking for, different durations, different lengths. Uh, but this last one here is an attribution. Some of the songs on here require you to copy and paste a little citation in your video. So like Audio Nautics is good, a good example here to use because you are free to use this song in any of your videos but you must include the following in your video description box. So you must copy and paste this little sentence right here, this little citation, copy and paste it and put that in your description box if you so happen to use this song for example. But once you do that, you copy and paste it, and then you just add that to your description box, you're good to go. Um, let's see, another example, let's see, so like Otis McDonald here, this song here, Sunday, like it says right here, you're free to use this song in any of your videos, you do not have to have that little citation or that little attribution. I mean, you can if you want to, but um, you don't necessarily have to. Um, so I, I mainly use videos with this, so I don't have to go, oh, it was that song, did I have to add a little little citation? I, I, I really don't have time to do that, so I pick a song that I like and um, just make sure that it has this um, in it so I don't have to remember, oh, did this song have this thing I have to cite and blah blah blah, but I mean, you can do whatever you want to. Um, but I just prefer those. Um, but if you're making something like a short film or something, there's also sound effects for you to check out and download as well. So, if, like, um, for the English project I made last year in high school for senior final, I needed sound effects for the short film, and this is where I got them for my YouTube video. But, um... I'm going to show you how to download this. It's really actually quite simple. So I'm going to actually um, download one of these. I'm just going to download this one. So you just download it to your computer. This one might take a while because it's almost 7 megabytes. And I am in the crappiest room for Wi-Fi. But um, yeah, once it's downloaded, I'll show you how to import it into your video editor. So I'm using iMovie for this example because I love iMovie and um, I just find it really easy to use. I mean you can insert this in any video editor that you like that that you prefer but since I'm on my Mac here I'm going to use iMovie because I just love iMovie so I'm just going to go ahead and import it right on in. So I'm going to go navigate to my home folder and uh, Let's see. Oh, I'm already here. Okay, cool. So all you have to do now is select it, import it into your media library here, and add your clips, pictures, and whatnot, transitions, whatever, and drag and drop it right on into your timeline. It's just that simple. And do whatever you need to do with your movie editing um, from there. So that's about it in terms of downloading and um, any attributions, if any. So yeah, I hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. See you guys next time.